Hi, I'm David Auerbach, and I am a hand and upper extremity surgeon here at the Southern California Orthopedic Institute. Carpal tunnel syndrome is a compression of a nerve in the hand. The median nerve passes through a normal structure called the carpal tunnel at the base of the hand. When that nerve is compressed in the carpal tunnel, then it's called carpal tunnel syndrome. And when that nerve is compressed, the patient will typically have tingling and numbness in the fingers and night pain through the hand. Carpal tunnel syndrome can be treated non-surgically with the use of braces. I usually have the patients wear the braces at nighttime and during the day as well if they're having symptoms during the day. In my experience, medications and physical therapy do not help. Some physicians will recommend steroid injections. In my experience, steroid injections will help temporarily but not cure the problem. Once conservative treatment has failed, meaning the patient still continues to have tingling and numbness in their hand despite brace use, then surgery is necessary. The purpose of the surgery is to cut open or divide the ligament, the roof of the carpal tunnel. By cutting the ligament, it releases the pressure on the nerve below. The ligament eventually heals back in a more expanded position. There are two ways of performing a division of the transverse carpal ligament. The traditional procedure is an open incision. With direct visualization, the ligament is cut open. But that requires an incision over the mid-palm and is uh, long and can be more painful as all the structures between the skin and the ligament need to be cut as well. A newer technique, which is an endoscopic carpal tunnel release, uses a tiny incision at the base of the hand and with visualization from a camera and a tiny probe knife, the ligament can be divided through this tiny portal without having to cut the skin, fat, and muscles over the ligament. As the endoscopic carpal tunnel release procedure is only through a small incision, it does not require a suture, rather just small steroid strips and a band-aid. Because the surgery is not done through the palm, the patient will have a lot less pain, less bruising, less swelling, and be able to use their hand in a more functional way earlier. Also, they will have a return of their normal grip strength much more quickly than with an open technique.